everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight I'm going to be making a simple broiled fish. This is something my mom used to make when I was a kid. It's really easy, it's super fast, and it's very, very delicious. It is probably one of the only ways I would eat fish for a very long time when I was a kid. And um, if you come along and stick around for a little while, I will share with you a little story from when I was a child. And um, join me and we'll make some broiled fish. Okay, let's get ready to make this broiled fish. Now I'm going to set my oven to broil. I'm going to put broil and broil and I'm just going to leave my rack not right up close. We want this to broil but we don't want it to cook so fast. Fish is going to cook fast anyway. You don't want to burn it, okay? So this is how my mom used to make it or a very close facsimile to how my mom used to do things. So what we're going to do is I have this Jed fish rub which is fabulous and I am just gonna go ahead I have about eight or nine fillets of tilapia here because that's what I like you can use any kind of fish that you like my mom used to use flounder fluke she used to use orange roughy Dover sole and they're all fine and I'm also going to use some garlic powder and this is all to taste but this is, is pretty close to how my mom used to make it um, you can use some onion powder if you want, but um, there's onion powder in that fish rub. This is some Mrs. Dash. And I like my fish seasoned like this. It's delicious. And I'm going to do some paprika. This is the one thing my mom always did was paprika. Without fail, there was always paprika on broiled, broiled fish. So when I was little, um, my dad... My, my father, who passed away when I was 10, he, um, he, was, he was a hunter, a fisherman. I'm just going to put some pats of butter on here. Don't freak out, you know. This is uh, six to eight servings, okay? So you're not going to be eating a whole stick of butter by yourself. Anyway, and we always used to have what I called fishing fish in the freezer. Um... And of course, fishing fish was fish that was wrapped in butcher paper, and and then that's how I knew it was fishing fish, and it was written on with a grease pencil on the outside, and you you know because it said fish, it said like um, blue fish or striped bass or whatever. Now, when I was about six or seven years old, my mom bought this block of frozen fish in the grocery store that was a wax paper box and the fish was rectangular because it was shoved inside this box and frozen that way. And it had, it had a picture of fish on the outside. <clears throat> and it, you know, and that was not fishing fish and I refused to eat it. To the point where my mother and father actually took the fish, wrapped it in butcher paper, told me it was fishing fish, and then I ate it with absolutely no problem. So that is like a, a family joke that everybody likes to laugh about when I would not eat the fish because it wasn't fishing fish. So I like to share that story too because I think it's really cute. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we've got our oven preheated to broil. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to check my rack here in the oven. That's a little bit too low for me, so I'm going to put it midway right there pop that under about 10 minutes fish is going to be done we'll bring you back when it's time to take it out and we'll fix you a plate of broiled fish mom style okay these were in the oven i just turned the broiler off because i was finishing up my vegetables and there you have it they're absolutely beautiful and we're going to go ahead and we're going to serve you up and we'll be right back and we'll show you that plate there you have it, a beautiful dinner with that broiled fish that took next to no time at all to cook, some homemade au gratin potatoes, and some steamed broccoli. I think that's a perfect dinner, and I know that my kids are really excited to eat this tonight, as well as Rick, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is no reason why you can't have a delicious meal ready and on the table in very little time. You can make this in about an hour. The potatoes, of course, are what's going to take the longest, and you'll see that in another video. The fish takes 10 minutes, literally. A little seasoning, a little butter, and you're good to go. I hope that you give this a try, and I hope that you love it. I hope this gives you another idea for a quick weeknight, weeknight meal. And until next time, I'll see ya!